Five years of consecutive drought have left California parched. Combined with climate change, the Sierra Nevada has become ground zero for an epidemic of unprecedented level of tree mortality. Despite the increased rain and snowpack that the state saw last winter, tree mortality continues to be on the rise, with the latest numbers showing over 102 million trees now dead and millions more dying. People are heartbroken. You know, they move up to the Sierra Nevada mountains for a reason. You move up there because there's trees, and you move up because it's, you're in the forest, and they feel like they're losing that. California's tree mortality puts lives and critical infrastructure at risk, littering the landscape with highly flammable dead vegetation to fuel wildfires, as well as an increased risk of injury and property damage from falling trees. Governor Brown declares a state of emergency for California's drought-stricken trees. The declaration comes as the state faces the worst case of tree mortality in modern history. In October of 2015, Governor Brown formed the Tree Mortality Task Force to help coordinate state, local, and federal efforts in managing the hazards posed by the exponentially increasing number of dead trees across the state. By working together, the task force is able to leverage funding, critical resources, and expertise to help communities in high-risk areas with the threat. The partnerships between PG&E and the state agencies and our local communities and county governments has been great. They've been very supportive and helped us to find you know, solutions to a very challenging problem. But even with this all-hands-on-deck approach, the sheer number of dead and dying trees is a major challenge for task force partners. With the vast amount of tree mortality spread across the Sierra Nevada, it's physically impossible to remove every tree or mitigate uh, every hazard. So the task force is organizing you know, across the landscape to work with our local partners to help triage the high priority areas. By identifying and treating the most critical areas, the task force is able to ensure infrastructure and escape routes are protected in the event of a wildfire in these high hazard areas. It's a monumental task and it's going to require and take all of us working together collectively to try and treat this problem. But this triage approach is only one part of the solution. It's vital for homeowners and high risk communities to do their part as well, ensuring that dead trees are removed as part of their home's defensible space plan. Residents are also urged to keep aware and to stay prepared to evacuate quickly in the event of a wildfire. Communities like this right here can be destroyed in minutes, if not hours, and it is absolutely critical that property owners pay close attention to radio reports, local news media, websites, Twitter, Facebook, all of the means by which you can keep up to speed on what's going on, uh, and then leave, leave in an orderly fashion. California is facing a difficult challenge with the staggering number of dead and dying trees across the landscape, a challenge that no single agency, organization, or community can manage alone. It takes the efforts of everyone, from the largest organizations to individual homeowners, to face this unprecedented disaster.